all of the stuff that uh, is, is being done right now, I just can't show you because like it's too exclusive even for for the podcasts like this. Uh, the audio overhaul, the rework of audio, and uh, we will we, we decided to change to remove replace the Steam audio, and uh, we decided to make it uh, the other way, and uh, finally tr at least try to get rid of all of the issues. Positional audio compatibility. As I said before, we plan to rework, remove, and change the Steam audio for something else. And the whole audio system will work, will work differently. Differently. Uh, so we just need to wait for it. Actually, because we need to combine it all together and make it playable with the 60 FPS on the standard configuration. That's a challenging, challenging task, actually. Literally, like we we could actually make only this one location, uh, and <laughs> it will actually it will it will feel enough for, for the whole game because literally it's like this screenshot is just a like small part of the city, and still it 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 feels like there is a lot of places to visit. So yeah, so this is the screenshots. It's not much, but still. <coughs> First thing that we uh, wanted to <coughs> make. This year is uh, first iteration of the city, as, it's, as I show you some screenshots and everything. The second thing is the whole functionality related to the lighthouse keeper, and uh, there is there are a lot of there are lots of things to actually say about him and uh, what should uh, what actually he will do in the game, but I will not tell you about it because I want this element of surprise. You will see it by yourself. So. We are working on the whole big functionality related to the new trader, like full in-game, in-rate trader. So you will see. And, uh, of course, his uh, personal bodyguard. The <coughs> charisma skill rework. It's not, it's not actually something big, but uh, there's a plenty, like, big list of, of the changes in, in this skill because literally it will influence on different areas of the game related to traders. Uh, also, the different changes to skills related to uh, body armor, heavy and uh, light ones, make make it more real. Uh, the the movement on the angled surfaces, leg positions, and everything, foot foot position actually, so it will look more real. Uh, there is a lot of uh, a lot of things related to storyline quest, and again, I can't tell you about them because the storyline quest is the most important thing in the game for me right now. This is like the crucial thing uh, in the game with all the functionality, with all the quests, and as I said before, it will be available only on release. The amount of uh, features related to the storyline quests is pretty big. And I just simply can't tell you about it because uh, it's too cool to know it early. So let's wait for it. Uh, the new uh, zones, uh, areas of the light, of the hideout. Actually, we plan to finally upgrade like the the hideout with the new areas. Actually, we we plan to show you something on this podcast, but unfortunately, we got late and. Uh, we will you will see it later some new areas and uh, for example the gym will be available and you'll be able to do some kind of exercises to level up your strength uh, the new grouping system and friends system so you'll be able to finally gather up with your friends before the raid before the matching process uh, FSR 2.0 actually we plan to show you the differences between FSR 1.0 and 2.0 this podcast I know that you are waiting for the advanced armor hitboxes and everything we will try to fit it in because literally is not uh, much time left till the end of this year and the amount of fixes and features and stuff are pretty big 
but uh, we will try to make it. Uh, but I can't promise you that you, we will make it this year. And uh, for, for, for those who don't understand what it is, so the, you will have an option to knock down the player with the grenades, with the like hit of the bullets and everything if you will hit hit them in the leg for example uh, the player will fall down he'd actually not lose conscious like he will just fall down and will try to get up but uh, if uh, he will sustain some kind of critical damage or it will be in another good uh, state of health he will lose his conscious and uh, yeah he will just lie down and you will be able to do with him everything you want uh, that's that's why we need to add uh like to player two player uh functionality that means that we need to add the ability to punch at it with the stimulants with the morphine with the adrenaline so you will help your friend to get up uh you will hit 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 him with the adrenaline for example to get him up from the unconscious state and you can just imagine the amount of work related to it and uh, the network synchronization, the animations, the transitions between animational rag dolls to actual animations. It's not an easy task. When is snow coming? The snow? The snow and the seasonal changes will be in the DLCs. The clan system. Clan system is planned for the DLC. Customizable rigs, as I said before, they are frozen. This feature is frozen because literally we have more important stuff to do. So somewhere later, I don't know, maybe after release, we will add this functionality, add this new feature called customizable rigs with all the stuff, uh, the pouches and everything. Because literally, we have all the stuff models, we have all the design documentation ready, and we just need to find perfect time to make it real. And right now, it's not perfect. All the animation teams di divided into into like separate sub teams. First team working on a weapons animation. The second one is on kind of research and development task. They are looking for new kind of stuff. For example, for example, animational rag dolls, vaulting, climbing, and everything. And hopefully, we will see. I don't know when, because right now it's more like research and development work. Yes, it's possible. Kill a voice. Yes. Boss Clothes. It's possible. Actually, we plan to add new tasks, like really heavy tasks, really heavy quests, to obtain some kind of clothing, like at least some pieces of clothing from several bosses. Uh, you will see. All of the tasks related to the unconscious states and animational ragdoll system, they are near, some, somewhere near, and uh, I hope we will start working on them and show you some results this year. So, with the manual repair, with the help of the kits, repair kits, you will have a chance to buff your weapon or armor. Well, this, the thing is, uh, again, you will have a chance to buff your weapon, like to, to have a damage reduction buff for your armor or some uh, like durability reduction for your weapon and uh, malfunction protection and everything. And it's related for like your uh, skill. For, all, for those who are constantly asking about the anti-cheat and stuff, will you change the anti-cheat and everything? There is, for the whole like three or four years of the battle eye cooperation, I can assure you that there is no better thing than the battle life and our cooperations and our like subsystem anti cheat subsystems all together. It's ongoing process. Constantly, we are constantly working with the battle eye, with everything, and uh, it will always be like this. Unfortunately, because cheaters and the cheat developers. It's they are trying to make money with it, of course, and that's why they are striving and struggling to keep the pace with us too. I hate them, really hate them, and everybody in the team hate them too. All the cheaters and cheat developers, but unfortunately, this is life. That's what the modern, mod like modern multiplayer games 
popular multiplayer games is. And uh, we will fight them till the end. Mm -hmm. I know that some of you interesting. What's going on with the arena? And I can tell you. We are working on it. And uh, we plan to... Like, everything goes as planned for it. We are making other arenas. As you, some of, uh, some of us at least noticed that there will be more one more arena uh, on the stadium and uh, another arena so we plan to add four arenas on the start maybe more actually <clears throat> i don't know the amount of the gameplay modes in arena the game ready to be used in esports and everything that's why there will be spectator will be added and uh, it will be a like an item for it as i said before some kind of like camera or something and actually it will be an item within the world of the eft so we'll actually uh, have an ability to use it in the eft too and record like head cams and stuff head, head cam footages some some somebody asked about where is og and i have a surprise for you i have a video Okay, so, uh, that was the video of AUG and the sounds are not like ready yet because literally I didn't make the sounds for for AUG and it, it was kind of a surprise for me because uh, uh, literally still it's still being done it's not it's not ready yet the next video it's not like something special uh, it's like not special at all actually it's just a new animation of Glocks. Let's show you. I will show you the, the last video that we prepared for, for today. Again, the sounds are not ready yet. It's all work in progress. Here you go.
<coughs> that was SR3M. Uh, I love the animations, like the animations top notch. Uh, yeah, the revolver R SHA 12. 9, uh, 12.6, 12.7 revolver. Yes, it's, it, it's planned. It's planned. AA12. M249. Uh, Honey Badger. Honey Badger is planned, actually. Uh, HK G G G3. It's planned. Tagila Hammer. Mm, it's possible, actually, because. Uh, for the Gillock Hammer, we will have uh, some kind of features or, or related to the Hammer. ACR. ACR is outdated, actually. AK-12. The whole lineup of the AK-12, AK-15, TR-3, it's all will be added a little bit later. With the, like, the, the whole lineup of the AK-12 uh, family. Desert Eagle. Yes. Belt Fan Machine Gun. Also planned. So this is the first uh, promo code, uh, you should enter it you know, on the site, for, ex for example, yeah, on the site. The second one, here we go. The code is the room, like ju just a room with secrets. The next one, Eclipse. The first one is... Stand the ground. Actually, there is lots of meaning. Uh, in the promo codes for today and uh, for those who are starving for the story and everything uh, there is there are a lot of hints in the names of the promo codes for today I will show you the last promo code <clears throat> Duh. 